Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na to ay tuturo ko sa inyo ang inverse trigonometric and hyperbolic functions of complex numbers. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time, ay ituturo ko naman sa inyo ang inverse trigonometric and hyperbolic functions of complex numbers. So, meron na akong previous video about trigonometric and hyperbolic functions of complex numbers. So, kung hindi nyo pa napapanood, isililink ko na lang para ma-check nyo. So, ngayon naman is ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano hanapin yung inverse trigonometric and hyperbolic functions of complex numbers. Okay? So, dito sa video na to, ay kailangan alam na natin yung pag-evaluate or paghanap ng logarithms ng complex numbers at saka yung paghanap ng roots ng complex number, particularly yung square root ng complex number kasi gagamitin natin yun dito sa mga formula. Okay? So, kung hindi nga pa yung napapanood, isiling ko na lang para ma-check nyo. So, gaya ng sinabi ko, gagamit lang din tayo ng formula dito sa paghanap ng inverse trigonometric and hyperbolic functions of complex number. Just like dun sa video ko about trigonometric and hyperbolic functions of complex number, right? So, meron lang din tayong formula. So, hindi na natin i-derive, but, but ibibigay ko nilang sa inyo directly yung mga formula na to. So, sabi, let the complex number BZ equals X plus minus IY. So, sa trigonometric functions, inverse trigonometric functions, meron tayong formula. So, for the arc sine Z, we have negative I ln of quantity IZ plus minus square root of 1 minus Z squared. So, kung mapansin nyo dito sa formula ng arc sine Z, ay meron tayong complex number inside the natural logarithm. At saka, meron tayong square root ng complex number. So, kaya sinabi ko na, apply natin yung natutunan natin sa video ko about evaluating logarithm of complex number at square root ng complex number. Okay? Next, we have our cos Z equal to negative I ln of Z plus minus square root of C square minus 1. 3. Arctan Z is equal to I over 2 ln of I plus Z over I minus Z. Next, we have our cotangent Z is equal to 1 over 2i times ln of Z plus i over Z minus i. 5. Our second Z is equal to 1 over i ln of 1 plus square root of 1 minus Z squared over Z. And for our cosecant Z, we have 1 over i ln of 1 plus square root of Z squared minus 1 over Z. So, ito yung mga formula natin for inverse trigonometric functions. Next, pumunta naman tayo sa formula ng inverse hyperbolic functions. So, for the arc sinh z equal to sa ln of z plus minus square root of z squared plus 1. For arc cos z equal siya sa ln of z plus minus square root of z squared minus 1. For arc tanch z, equal siya sa 1 over 2 ln of 1 plus z over 1 minus z. For arc cos z, equal siya sa 1 half ln of z plus 1 over z minus i. For arc set z, equal siya sa ln of 1 plus minus square root of 1 minus z squared over z. And for arc cos z, equal siya sa ln of 1 plus minus square root of 1 plus z squared over z. So, ito yung mga formula natin for finding the inverse hyperbolic functions of complex number. So, mabansin nyo, itong mga inverse hyperbolic at trigonometric functions of complex number is formula based lang. So, kailangan nyo lang kabisaduhin itong mga formula na to, And then, it's just a matter of simplification the formula when you are given the actual complex number. Particularly, yung mga involved is yung natural logarithm at square root ng complex number. Okay? 
So, para ma-illustrate natin yung mga formula for finding the inverse trigonometric and hyperbolic functions of complex numbers, ay mag-solve tayo ng example. For the first one, we have arc sine of 1 plus 2i. Okay, so meron tayong inverse sine ng complex number na 1 plus 2i. So, ang formula natin kanina for arc sine is eto. Negative i, ln of quantity iz plus minus square root of 1 minus z squared. So, ang formula natin for arc sine z is equal to negative i, ln of iz plus minus square root of 1 minus z squared. Okay, kung saan dito, yung z natin is itong mismong complex number na 1 plus 2i. So, plug in natin. So, arc sine of 1 plus 2i equal negative i ln of i times z 1 plus 2i plus minus square root of 1 minus z squared. So, 1 plus 2i squared. Okay, so simplify muna natin tong nasa parenthesis sa loob. So, distribute ko tong i. So, we have negative i ln of so i plus 2i squared. So, yung i squared is equal to what? Negative 1, right? So, parang ano na to? Negative 2. Plus minus square root of so, meron tayong square of complex number. So, apply natin yung formula for square of a binomial. So, 1 minus so, square the first 1 plus first and second term times 2 so, 1 times 2i is 2i times 2, 4i. Plus, square the second term. So, 2i squared is what? 4i squared, but i squared is negative 1 ulit, right? So, negative 4. Plus, negative 4 or minus 4. To simplify, negative i ln of, so, 9 ko na itong negative 2, plus i, plus minus square root of, so, combining similar terms. So, pag distribute natin to so, magiging 1 minus 1 minus 4i plus 4. So, cancel dito si 1. Matitira is negative 4i plus 4 or 4 minus 4i. Okay. Ngayon, ang next step is itong square root ng 4 minus 4i. So, apply natin dito yung paghanap ng square root ng complex number. So, base dun sa video ko, expect natin na dahil meron tayong square root, Kung ano yung n natin, yung index natin. So, index natin kapag square root is 2, right? So, yun din yung number nung square root natin dito sa complex number. So, dalawa. So, meron tayong dalawang value for the square root ng 4 minus 4i. So, kaya, meron din tayong magiging dalawang value for this uh, arc sine z. Arc sine of 1 plus 2i. So, kung mapansin nyo, dito sa formula may plus minus tayo, right? So, actually, pwede nyo na lang yung gawin lagi as plus lang. Tapos, i-consider nyo yung dalawang yung nakuhang roots nung square root nung complex number. So, unang yung i-substitute is plus the first root and then simplify nyo yung buong expression na to. And then, sa second solution, kuhain nyo naman yung second root. So, plus the second root. And then, simplify nyo again yung buong, yung buong expression na yon para makuha nyo yung second solution. Okay? So, sige. Kuhain muna natin yung square root netong complex number 4 minus 4i. So, remember yung formula. Yung nth root of z is equal to... Ta-transform natin siya into a polar form. So, r raised to 1 over n. Then, angle theta plus 360 degree k over n where k should be from 0, 1, 2, dot, dot, dot until n minus 1. So, dahil to yung ating n, ang kukuha ay natin value ng k is up to 2 minus 1 or 1. So, from 0 to 1. So, other form din ito is kung gusto nyo nakaregen yung inyong argument, r raise to 1 over n, angle theta, plus, plus 2 pi k over n. 
So, same lang din. 4K is equal to 0, 1, 2, dot, 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 until n minus 1. So, dito na lang tayo sa degree. Okay? So, hanapin natin yung argument nitong 4 minus 4i tsaka yung modulus r. So, yung r, naturo ko naman na sa inyo. Ang formula is x square plus y square, right? Kung saan yung x natin is 4, yung y natin is negative 4. So, 4 square plus negative 4 square is equal to what? 4 is square root of 2. And then, yung theta natin, dahil ano tayo, fourth quadrant, kasi positive si x at negative si y. Okay, so ang formula natin doon, basa sa video ko, 360 degree minus arctan no y over x. So, 360 degree minus arctan of y is negative 4. Pero dahil compensate na natin yung theta dito nung nag-add tayo ng 360, positive lagi yung ating x at y. Didisregard natin yung sign, right? So, 4 divided by x na 4 then. So, using calculator, ano yung 360 degree minus arctan 4 over 4 or arctan 1, right? 315 so, therefore, ito yung ating r na 4 square root of 2 and theta na 315 degree. So, kuhain natin yung square root. So, meron tayong dalawang solution. Z1 natin is, so, 4 square root of 2 raised to 1 half, ingle, 315 degree plus 360 degree times n, 0 muna, right? Over Ito yung isang value. Then, C2 is 4 square root of 2 raised to 1 half angle 315 degree plus 360 times this time N naman is 1. Yung final value ng N. Kasi square root tayo. Okay, so pag kinumpute natin to sa calculator, gawin nyo na lang siyang in rectangular form. Anong masasolve natin value? So, yung unang root is negative 2.197 plus 0 0.910 i. Okay? And then, yung pangalawang root is positive 2.197 minus 0 0.910 i. Okay? So, pag sinapsitut natin yung formula, so, consider muna natin yung Z1. So, kanina, ang nakuha na nating expression is eto, right? So, let's say, meron na tayong negative i ln of negative 2 plus i. So, plus na lang lagi. Disregard nyo na yung plus minus. Then, consider natin yung Z1. So, substitute nyo na yung Z1. Ito, right? Negative 2.197 plus 0.910i. Okay? Simplify. Negative i, ln of combined similar terms. So, negative 2 plus negative 2.197, negative 4.197. Then, i plus 0.197. 910i is positive 1.910i. Okay, now, meron tayong natural logarithm of complex number. So, dito napapasok yung natutunan natin sa video ko about finding natural logarithm of complex number. So, equal to sa negative i, ln r, plus i, theta. So, yung r natin is, consider natin yung modulus nitong complex number na negative 4.197 plus 1.910i. So, x is negative 4.197 and y is positive 1.910. So, yung r natin, base sa video ko, is square root nung x square plus y square, right? So, negative 4.197 square plus 1.910 square. So, using calculator, it is equal to 4.611. And then, yung theta argument is dahil nasa second quadrant tayo, right? Negative si x at positive si y, equal siya sa 
pi minus arctan of y over x. So, substitute natin yung value. We have pi minus arctan of y is 1.910 over x is negative 4.197. Disregard the negative 4.197. So, using calculator in region mode, ang makukuha natin value ng theta is 2.865 rad. Okay? So, therefore, we have negative i ln r. R natin is 4.611 plus i theta. i times theta is 2.865 rad. So, we have negative i. Ano yung ln ng 4.611? Using calculator, 1.528 plus 2.865i. Okay, then this is but lang tong negative i. We have 1.528 negative i minus 2.865i squared. So, itong i squared is negative 1, right? So, parang positive ano na to, 2.865. So, unahin natin to kasi siya yung magiging real part. 2.865, then imaginary part, minus 1.528i. So, ito yung unang solution. So, let's say theta 1 to. Okay? Next, consider naman natin yung z2. Okay? So, same pa rin, yung nakuha natin expression is ito, pero this time, plus z2 tayo. So, yung z2 natin is... 2.197 minus 0.910. So, Z2 is 2.917 minus 0.910i. So, nakuha na natin yung expression na negative i ln of negative 2 plus i. So, plus this time Z2 naman, right? So, substitute natin yung Z2 na 2.917 minus 0.910i. So, combining similar terms, negative ln of, so, negative 2 plus 2.917 is 0.917, and i plus negative 0.910i is what? Plus 0.090i. Okay, so again, tulad nung sa ginawa natin sa unang solution, Evaluate natin tong ln ng complex number. So, negative i ln r plus i theta. So, consider natin yung 0.917 plus 0.090i. So, x natin is 0.917. Yung y natin is 0.090i. So, kuhay natin yung r. Square root of 0.917 square plus 0.090 square. So, using calculator, it is equal to 0.217. And for the argument theta, dahil nasa first quadrant tayo, para hong positive sa x at y, equal siya sa arctan y over x. So, arctan of y is 0.090 over x is 0.917. So, using calculator, ang masasolve nating value dito for theta is... 0.429 rad. So, substitute na natin dito sa formula. Negative i ln r 0.217 plus i theta is 0.429 rad. So, simplify. Negative i ln of 0.217 is equal to what? Negative 1.528. Then, plus 0.429i So, distribute na lang natin itong negative i We have So, negative i times negative 1.528 is positive 1.528i Then Negative i times 0.429i is negative 0.429i squared So, 1.528i Minus 0.429 i squared is negative 1. So, equal to sa 1.528 i plus 0.429.
So, unay na lang natin yung real part. Magiging 0.429 plus 1.528i. So, ito yung pangalawang value natin doon sa arc sine ng complex number. So, let's say theta 2. So, therefore, meron tayong dalawang solution na so, theta 1 is 2.865 minus 1.528i at theta 2 na 0 0.429 plus 1.528i. Okay? Next, we have inverse hyperbolic cosine 2 minus 4i or arc cos 2 minus 4i. So, meron tayong inverse hyperbolic cosine. Yung formula natin kanina doon is ito. ln of z plus minus square root of z squared minus 1. R cos z is equal to ln of z plus minus square root of z squared minus 1. Kung saan yung z natin is itong 2 minus 4i. So, substitute natin. We have ln of z 2 minus 4i plus minus square root of z squared 2 minus 4i squared minus 1. So, simplify muna natin yung parenthesis 2 minus 4i plus minus square root. So, square of a complex number uli, apply yung square of a binomial. 2 square is 4. 2 times negative 4i times 2 is negative 16i. Then, negative 4i quantity squared is positive 16i squared minus 1. So, we have ln of 2 minus 4i plus minus square root of 4 minus 16i. So, i squared is negative 1. So, parang 16 times negative 1 minus 16 minus 1. So, simplify na natin to Combine similar terms. So, 4 minus 16 minus 1 is negative 13. So, negative 13 then minus 16i. Negative 13 minus 16i. So, tulad dun sa unang example, evaluate natin tong square root ng complex number. Negative 13 minus 16i. So, magkakaroon tayo ng dalawang roots, right? So, parang evaluate na lang natin tong ln of 2 minus 4i plus z1 tsaka ln ng 2 minus 4i plus z2. So, hanapin muna natin yung z1 tsaka z2. So, z1 is equal to, so hanapin muna natin yung modulus tsaka argument nitong complex number negative 13 minus 16i. So, x is negative 13 and y is negative 16. So, R nyan is square root ng x square plus y square. So, negative 13 square plus negative 16 square. So, using calculator, ang masasolve natin value dito is R is 5 square root of 17. And then, for the theta, since nasa third quadrant tayo, parehong negative si x at y, ang formula natin dyan is 180 degree plus arctan of y over x. So, 180 degree plus arctan of y is negative 16. Disregard the sign. 16 over x. So, negative 13. Disregard din yung sign. So, 13 na lang. So, using calculator in degree mode, ang masasolve nating theta is 230.906 degree. So, therefore, yung z1 natin is r raised to 1 half so, 5 square root of 17 raised to 1 half. Ingel, yung theta, 230.906 degree plus 360 times k muna natin is 0. Right? Yung k natin is 0 tsaka 1 kasi square root tayo. Over 2. And then, z2 is equal to 5 square root of 17 raised to 1 half. Ingel, same theta, 230.906 degree plus 360, this time k naman is 1 over 2. So, using calculator, masasolve natin value for z1 and z2. Gawin nyo na lang uh, rectangular form in complex mode yung calcul. Okay, so ang sagot dito sa z1 is negative 1.951 
plus 4.100i at z2 is positive 1.951 minus 4.100i. Okay. So, consider muna natin yung z1. So, z1 is negative 1.951 plus 4.100i. Yung nakuha na natin expression is ito, right? So, ln of 2 minus 4i plus z1 negative 1.951 plus 4.100i. So, ln of combined similar terms. So, 2 plus negative 1.951 is 0.049. Then, negative 4i plus 4.100i is positive 0.100i. Okay, so apply uli natin yung paghanap ng natural logarithm ng complex number. So, LNR plus I theta. So, consider natin yung complex number 0.049 plus 0.100i. X is 0.049 and Y is 0.100. So, hanapin natin yung modulus R equal siya sa square root ng X squared plus Y squared. So, 0.049 square plus 0.100 square. So, using calculator, it is equal to 0 0.111. And then, for the argument theta, dahil nasa first quadrant tayo, parang positive si x saka y, equal siya sa arctan of y over x. So, arctan of y is 0 0.100 over x, 0 0.049. So, using calculator, dapat in region mode, ang masasolve nating theta is... 1.115 rad. So, pwede na natin i-substitute dito sa LNR plus I theta. So, LNR is 0 0.111 plus I theta. Theta is 1.115. So, using calculator, simplify natin tong LN of 0 0.111 equal siya sa negative 2.198 plus 1.115 I. So, therefore, ito yung unang value natin for our cosh ng complex number. So, let's say theta 1. Next, consider naman natin yung z2. Right? So, yung z2 natin is ito. 1.951 minus 4.100i. So, z2 is 1.951 minus 4.100i. So, nakuha na natin expression is ito. So, ln 2 minus 4i plus z2, ln 2 minus 4i plus z2, substitute natin si z2 na 1.951 minus 4.100i. So, combine similar term, 2 plus 1.951 is positive 3.951, then negative 4i minus 4.100i is negative 8.100i. So, hanapin uli natin yung LNR plus I theta. Consider yung 3.951 minus 8.100i na complex number. X is 3.951 and Y is negative 8.100. So, hanapin natin yung R square root ng X square plus Y square 3.951 square plus negative 8.100 square. So, using calculator, it is equal to 9.012. So, theta is equal to dahil nasa fourth quadrant yung ating complex number kasi positive si x at negative si y equal siya sa 2 pi minus arctan of y over x. So, we have 2 pi minus arctan of y is negative 8.100 disregard the sign 8.100 over x 3.951. So, using calculator, in region mode, ang masasolve nating value dito is 5.166 rad. So, pwede na nating i-substitute dito sa LNR plus I theta. LNR is 9.012 plus I theta is 5.1662. So, simplify natin yung LN 9.012 using calculator. It is equal to... 2.199 plus 5.166i. 
So therefore, ito yung second value nung r cos z, theta 2. 2.199 plus 5.166i. So meron tayong two values, theta 2 tsaka theta 1. Okay. Next we have arctan of negative 3 plus 5i. Okay, so meron tayong inverse tangent. So yung formula natin kanina doon is ito. I over 2 ln of I plus Z over I minus Z. So, arctan of Z is equal to I over 2 ln of I plus Z over I minus Z. Kung saan yung Z natin is itong negative 3 plus 5i. So, substitute natin. I over 2 ln of i plus z is negative 3 plus 5i over i minus z is negative 3 plus 5i. So, simplify natin yung nasa loob ng parenthesis we have. So, combine similar terms sa numerator, i plus 5i is 6i. So, negative 3 plus 6i over sa denominator, distribute yung negative, magiging positive 3 minus 5i. So, i minus 5i is negative 4i, then plus 3. So, 3 minus 4i. So, pwede nyo munang isimplify itong quotient of two complex number. So, pwede nyo i-multiply both numerator and denominator by the conjugate ng denominator na 3 plus 4i. Or, pwede nyo na lang i-directa, i-compute sa calc -U. Or, pwede nyo rin itong solve manually. So, gamit na lang tayo ng calc -U. So, equal i over 2 ln. So, yung negative 3 plus 6i over 3 minus 4i using calculator is equal to negative 1.32 plus 0.24i. So, meron ulit tayong natural logarithm of complex number. So, equal to sa i over 2 ln r plus i theta. So, consider natin yung complex number negative 1.32 plus 0.24i x is negative 1.32 and y is 0.24 so hanapin natin yung r square root of x square plus y square negative 1.32 square plus 0.24 square so using calculator ang masasolve nating value dito is 1.342 and for theta since nasa second quadrant tayo, negative si x, positive si y, equal siya sa pi minus arctan y over x. So, pi minus arctan of y is 0 0.24 over x. x is negative 1.32, disregard the sign 1.32. So, using calculator in region mode, ang makukuha nating value dito is... 2.962 rad. So, substitute na natin dito sa i over 2 ln r is 1.342 plus i theta 2.962. So, simplify. i over 2, ano yung ln of 1.342 using calculator? 0.294. Plus 2.962i. So, distribute na lang natin tong i over 2 sa so magiging 0 0.294 over 2i plus 2.962 over 2i squared. So, itong i squared is negative 1, right? So, 0 0.294 over 2i parang minus 2.962 over 2 na lang siya. So, using calculator, simplify natin tong bawat term. We have, unahin ko na tong constant. So, equal siya sa negative 1.481. Then, plus, eto, 0.147i. So, therefore, this is the value of inverse tangent ng complex number. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it for this video. Inverse trigonometric and hyperbolic functions of complex numbers. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panunood.